so often uh, technology evolves and government rules and regulations don't evolve with it. And what you're seeing today is uh, government coming up to speed with the evolution of this technology. Operators in the past would have to get individual waivers to operate these drones, very complicated. They were issued on a case-by-case -case basis. And because of that complication, I don't think we saw the innovation uh, that we should have in America. So uh, with uh, this rule, we are going to eliminate that prior process and the approval um, will uh, be done in a far different way. The rules are going to completely change. So we feel very confident that we've got the, you know, the, the rulemaking is anticipating the use of technology like ADSB uh, that will allow drones to see and avoid uh, manned aircraft uh, in the NAS uh, and also how we're regulating the operators that we will allow uh, into the NAS through the use of drones. So again, this levels the playing field, brings tremendous innovation capabilities to our U.S. providers, uh, less reliance on uh, potentially the use of foreign products in, the, in our national airspace. This rule will enable scaling of critical applications like infrastructure inspection, emergency response, precision agriculture, and beyond, advancing public benefit and safety and generating billions in positive economic impact. But I do think communities have to have a say in um, do they want drone use in their communities.